was this ever cool to just walk around with just Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here doing another video game action figure review on the True Force Collectibles Designer Series Mega Man X. If you're trying to get one of these, you can order them now at Big 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 Big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. Big thanks to True Force Collectibles and Bluefin for making this review possible. If you want to see the latest from them, check the links below. And I really like this packaging over here. That looks absolutely gorgeous. Really nice box art. On the top you can see Mega Man X right over here and then this guy you can see the nice blueprint right there etched into the package. And you can see the True Force Collectibles read up and then the package includes all these accessories over here and then on the side you get a nice image of Mega Man again and then you can open this up. It's held together with a magnet and you can see the specs so if you want to pause it and read it anytime go ahead and do so. And you can see the figure right over there. Alright let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's Mega Man out of the packaging and what a home run of a figure this is. Is absolutely incredible. Gotta give a big thanks to the Kickstarter supporters for making this happen. This is a truly amazing piece. This is actually designed by one of the artists from Capcom, so you may notice that it is a different and new design here, but it is an official Capcom design, which is really cool. Maybe if they made a Mega Man movie, it would have this design. That'd be pretty sweet. But anyway, this figure is articulated like crazy. The paint apps are superb, and you get a ton of accessories that are just fantastic. So let's take a closer look at the accessories, and then we'll take a closer look at Mega Man X. So we get all these accessories for Mega Man. You get the X Buster right there. You get two interchangeable hands. You get the fisted hands, the wide open hands. You get two faces. You get the boosters for his back. And then you get these three different blast effects. And then you get this really cool stand. And then luckily this does come with a really cool instruction booklet. And it shows how you can insert the batteries for the LED lights for the X Buster, which is really cool. And it shows how you can interchange the faces. And there's just a little detailed look at the X Buster with the LED lights and everything. Now here's a look at the flight stand and so much love was put into this project even the flight stand is pretty amazing okay so you get this really nice grid pattern right over here which I think is really cool and then you get these two arms one of them of course to support the blast effect and then the other one you use to support the figure and you get this little clip right over here that plugs into the base and you can plug this into any port uh, these ports are actually kind of like these little slits right over here and you can see there's three on each side, so you can just put it anywhere you want to, which is really neat. And I just put it like that, so I think that's cool. You could rotate right here at the bottom. You have these screws, so you could change the tension on these to your liking. So these all move up and down. And then what's really fascinating with this is that you can rotate this if you unplug it and then reattach it. So they basically give you the option where you could have these little slots right here plug into this part of the clip and it'll just stay like that and then you cannot rotate it around or you can remove it and then place it in there so that you can rotate this side to side. So I think it's great that you get those options. And then you get this clamping action right over here, which is pretty cool. Uh, this is actually the only weak part of the stand, I think, because these do pop off on me, but mostly only when I'm kind of changing the pose around while it's attached to this clamp. We also get these little boosters to swap out for his back, which are really cool. Uh, it's really hard to see, but on the back of these, or at the bottom, you can see there's some deco that says, Beware of Blast. Then you also get that same deco on the top of these guys right here. So to interchange these, you just pick this off right here from the bottom. Pick that off right there. And then you get some little letters right there indicating which side's supposed to go where. And then this is the left side. And then we could take this one and put that on the right. Really nice gun metal right there. I really love that paint. These look really cool. Now I think these hands were very well made. It's a little tricky to see because they're white, but you can see the little lines sculpted in there. The fisted hands look really good too. And popping these on and off the figure is very easy. So here's a close look at the X Buster, which is just great. I love the paint apps. The deco is just very clean. And we'll see more of this little deco throughout the figure. Really nice blues on here. I really like this gunmetal color. And I love that it has the LED lights. This is just so cool. So you just rotate this clockwise and then boom, it just beams out and it just looks great. I really dig this a lot. Now I think removing the batteries for this is fairly simple. Uh, like I said, you turn it clockwise to turn this light on and then to remove the batteries, you need to turn it clockwise even more so and then just pull this apart right here and then you can see the little batteries. And I think these are like the L4F or whatever the heck they are. Batteries that are right in there, which I already inserted. You can actually take this out right here so it makes it very easy to put the batteries in or remove them if you wish. And then when you put this together, you want to look for that little arrow right there and then you're going to make sure that the blue side is up top and then line that little notch right inside there with the arrow and there it goes and then you just rotate it clockwise and then boom there it is then putting the x buster on mega man himself you just remove this right here you can see the little hole right there 
and then you just plug this guy right in like so and it goes in very nicely if you wanted to put it on the wrong side you could do so so we get a few effects parts with this figure which I really like I like this yellow one right here very cool transparent plastic you also get this little piece right here so you could have this attached like that or you could put this directly onto the X Buster Then we also get this big one right over here man I love this one this orange right here and the way it fades in from the yellow just looks really good now you can attach these directly onto the X Buster as you can see you get these little slots right over there and then you have these little line pieces that stick out and you just match those up and it'll stay like that of course you could attach this piece over here and then just put them both together like that and you can turn the light on and off by just rotating too once you have that on there I think that's really cool then you have the other option of just attaching this guy as you can see right here which looks pretty awesome as well or you can attach both of them together you just need to get this little clear piece right here and attach it to the inside and plug that in there and then you can plug this in right here and it has an L shape make sure it's lined up correctly and you can just plug it in like that and bam that is super cool it is quite heavy though so it will droop down thus the stand now we do get two face sculpts with this figure and I gotta say I really love both of them and I really like the head sculpt a lot this is just superb. The paint apps are super clean. The deco for the eyes look great. I really like this transparent red plastic right here. We also get that on the side right over there. The gunmetal color is great. I love the variations of blue that we get on this. Again, this darker blue color has this really nice fleck in it. It's got some nice little sparklies in there. Some more deco right there. It says caution on the back of his head. This just looks awesome. I love this clear plastic. I mean, when you really shine light on it, dang, that just looks really cool. So switching the faces out is not difficult at all. I like to grab the chin right there and the top of the head, and then it's gonna separate right over here too. This whole thing's gonna come off. It's like the whole front half just comes off. And, oh, and there it goes. Okay, like I said, it wasn't that difficult. And then you can just remove the face by popping this piece off right here. And then you have the other face, which I like to attach to this piece first. And bam, there it is. And that looks really cool as well. I really like this face sculpt too. That is very cool. I like the screaming look. The mouth looks painted out very nicely. I'm really digging this a lot. And just looking at the rest of this figure, I mean, this is just absolutely amazing. A little deco right there. I just think the paint apps just came out very, very clean. You don't get any blemishes or any weird stuff going on with this guy. It's just a very good looking figure, especially with the amount of articulation that it has. You get some little hidden components in here as well as you bend the knee. I'll go over the articulation, but I just want to show off this awesome looking detail right there. That's just beautiful. Oh yeah, and on the shoulder joint, or the armpit joint anyway, you get some nice sculpted detail in there as well. You know, so there's just like these little hidden parts. When you bend the elbow, there's not a whole ton of stuff going on right there, but it's not flat looking. There's a Mega Man X butt, and looking right over here, you know, you can see some more of the hinges and everything. You also get this part right here, it says beware of blast, and you could pick these open. So just, yeah, especially for his dashing, and then you could lift that up, and you could see the little booster right there. And you do the same thing on the other side, it looks really good. Then you just close these shut, and it'll snap together. And looking right here at the feet, this is just really cool looking, man. It says caution right over there. And you have some really nice details at the bottom of the feet. Look at that. That is insane. There is just so much stuff going on right there. That is nuts. You get more transparent red, silver. Now the articulation on this figure is absolutely astounding. They did something here that I really like with the legs and I'll get into that in a second. The head can move up very far. I really dig that. That is so cool. You can move it downward too. You also get this forward and back shifting kind of thing like a uh, 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 bile driver. You get side to side movement right here. You also get some great neck pivot. You have these shoulder pieces that can move up and down so they don't prohibit any articulation you get the great armpit joint that moves all the way in I do wish it could move back a little bit I feel like I'm getting a little nitpicky but I kind of wish it could swing backward just the same way it moves forward you also get the shoulders that can move all the way outward you can move it downward and forward so that's great you also get a bicep swivel you get these great double jointed elbows that bend all the way in look at that that is fantastic you also get these ball jointed hands right there so you can turn them any direction you want to you get a great diaphragm joint over here that rotates side to side you get diaphragm pivot you get a great crunch it bends back but not as much as it crunches forward you also get a waist swivel over here and it crunches forward and back at the waist you also get waist pivot you get hip joints that allow them to do the splits you could also kick forward that much right but then you get this added feature where you could shift the thigh outward and he can kick all the way forward like that and you can shift this down if you want to but man 
That is incredible. I really like that a lot. You also get the upper thigh swivel. You get these double jointed knees that bend in all the way, and I love how this shifts out once again. That, that is just really cool. You also get this ankle system right here, which is fairly complex and very intricate. You can just pull this all the way down like that, and you can see these joints right inside there. So I think that's really cool. It rotates side to side over here. You do get the gorgeous ankle pivot. You can shift this down. You can move that going upwards. Wow, oh, that is super cool. I do wish it had a toe articulation, but you can see most of the foot is just this piece right here. So I can understand why they didn't do that. I really like the size of this figure. You can see that he stands at about six and a quarter inches tall. And then for your size comparison, here's the True Force Mega Man X next to the D Arts Mega Man X San Diego Comic Con exclusive. Thank you so much, Sean Long. I never reviewed this figure. I might do so for a throwback Thursday. And then to compare Mega Man X to another action figure, we have Figma Samus. And then comparing Mega Man X to your average size Marvel Legend, here he is next to the Marvel Legends big time letdown Spider-Man. Hey, you know one thing I was always wondering was who'd win in a fight, you or the Vision? Hey, check that out, perfect timing. Hold on a second. Yeah, all right. Okay, go ahead, you guys. Oh, no, wait. So once again, this is just an incredible figure. This is True Force's debut collectible, and they just knocked it out of the park with this thing. It's just an outstanding piece, man. I highly recommend it. The only real downfall with this figure, I think, is that if you wanted to put him in with a Smash Brothers display, if you were trying to get that kind of setup going, I think he's a bit out of scale for that. And it's not Mega Man, it's Mega Man X, you know what I mean? So anyway, but aside from that, I really just incredible. Anyway, I hope you guys liked my review. If you did, please hit the like button. Hit any of these boxes right over here if you want more shart in your face. If you're of the age of 18 or older, please check out the Patreon account if you want to support the channel. Also, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and go to toynewseye.com for the latest in action figure news. I'll catch you guys later. Peace! So we get all these accessories with Eggman. Eggman? <laughs>